to Thursday's Woman on a Mission Live. And today, I hope you're ready because we are chatting to the fabulous Harriet, AKA Space Masks. I am so looking forward to chatting with Harriet. If you know what I'm talking about, it's these. These are the, the most incredible well-being product on the market. You heard it here. Well, no, you didn't hear it here. You heard it all over the internet. She's amazing, award-winning, wonderful woman. And I'm very much looking forward to catching up with her. Harriet, are you there? Let me see if I can invite her. So if you have any questions at all, we've got loads of questions actually. Please do. We're going to have an action packed little conversation, not only talking about Harriet's face mask, but also talking about her death book as well. Is she there? There she is. Hello. I pressed the right button. Brilliant. Well done. I'm hoping your frogs are with you. What, the live ones or the new crochet the, ones? I've got crochet new crochet ones. ones. I mean, I've put them up there. Oh, how fabulous are they? So sweet. And one of my followers just sent me a, a message saying, my mother's made you some. And I sent them, it was so sweet. I'm so spoiled. So, so lovely. <laughs> Quite random. I, I think many people are sent sort of crocheted frogs willy-nilly. I love it. So from now on, you, well, not from now on, but for always, you will always remind me of, of, of frogs. And we've and it, and it's squirrels and dachshunds. I mean, so much. I mean, what? Fucking Dr. Doolittle here. <laughs> we are so here for it as well thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to join us today pleasure I, I, can i apologize in advance for one dogs barking no that's cool two the door bell ringing and three whenever i've done a live which is very rare and i don't think not that i can remember my memo is not very good if i've done them with other people i think i normally just do one by myself to launch my something i never know how to turn it off at the end so the video is all going smoothly in the end it's me going <laughs> Tony. Well, if you if you figure it out, if you could let me know, that'd be amazing. Because, <laughs> and if not, I can't get the angle right, or I'm squinting. I ha still haven't quite got it together. But I know I've it's really the system here, except I have to sort of tidy up and check. That there's no sort of secret Christmas presents behind here. Yeah. Um, but then occasionally I do it somewhere else, and I look extraordinary. You can sort of see my moustache or something. Yeah, it's anyway, yeah. a good system going now. So, which room? I know we're going off piece already. Fine. I knew we would, but which room are you I'm in? I'm in my office. In, in London, in Blackheath. Okay. Gretel, the elderly wirehead dachshund, is downstairs because she can't manage stairs anymore. And she's oh, deaf, so she sort of, she has FOMO, so she wanders around. And then you suddenly, I mean, we've once or twice heard, blah, 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 blah. Oh. so she has to stay downstairs and is quite okay about it. And then I have Strudel, who stays here with me. But any sort of neighbour or door, she's... <laughs> so this is my office, and there's a secret staircase, that door there. Yeah. Not very secret now you open it up and it's got sort of sailor you know steps like in a boat yeah, yeah, yeah. you flatten down then you go up there and i used to have a chair up there and gin and drinks and a charger and a table for the ipad but for some weird reason it gets very hot up there so i'd get up and, I'd be like, oh, okay. and then the doorbell would go and i'd be it was just an accident waiting to have to how get much gin i'd have <laughs> so i don't tend to hang out i just tend to sort of hide secret presents up there I love it. Don't the children. tell. Well, the kids already know now. I'm guessing. Yeah. I'm guessing yeah. everyone knows. But they're older. I love that you've got not to go and have a look. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? If you know it's there, the temptation. Yeah. The temptation to go and have a look. We have so much to talk about. Okay. So much to talk about. And I knew. I'm so glad that Gina's come up already. That's just brilliant. Um, give us a little introduction to to you i've given a little brief one but before we go right delving deep into these conversations give us a little little brief introduction uh, to who Harry well is. i'm uh what space master just my life i'm 48 i've got four daughters i always think it's very i'm once about to graduate from university which makes me feel very old because i'm sure i've only just graduated not that i, I know went. my daughter's in her second year and i'm like how i know, how has yeah, that just... I know. we've I got know. to start getting her sort of smart office clothes for when she gets a job and everything anyway um, so four daughters, lots of pets. We lived in Fulham for 19 years. And then three years ago, because we bought a house in Whitstable with my god sister, we, we were driving from Fulham to Whitstable with the children whinging in the back because it's the wrong mm. side of London. Yeah. And then 
Now, my husband said, why don't we just move to Blackheath? I said, oh, no, no, I'm not good with change. There's no tube there. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then daughter number one I had a friend in Greenwich and she said, it's a doddle together. So we've moved, we've moved to Blackheath. And what a beautiful place it is too. Well, you see, what's so crazy is that we've been here three years because I'm so busy and tearing around. Yeah. I feel like a so I decided we won't talk about it because we'll start crying that a dear friend died in January. Yeah. That I know it's as cliche as it sounds. I now just want to reevaluate everything yeah. and I'm not going to raise yeah, yeah. people. And I say to Strudel, come on, let's just go down this road. And yeah. I've got no direction. So then I'm not, I haven't got any obligations to be anywhere. We wander around, get a coffee, go out here, wander back. Right. Quite fun. It's funny how life does that, doesn't it? You have those pivotal moments and you're just like, wait, so, hold on a second. What are we doing? Or why yeah. are we doing it? And it doesn't have to be like that. We can, you know, we can, we're actually in charge, but we just forget that sometimes, do we not? Exactly, exactly. And so then, but before this, back to space masks, I don't know what year, I suppose, I don't know. But anyway, I used to always, since I had the children, I'd always do something at home. Yeah. But I was very hands on. So I do all the school runs and everything. And, and I was always at home. But you know, if, they was, if I had a baby sleeping in a cot and I couldn't go out, I'd do catering. And then I started doing sort of PA admin work, sort of concierge style. And then someone introduced me, my uncle actually, introduced me to someone who said that they needed homestay hosts. So you'd have the children come and live with you. And everyone just thought it was insane. So you've already got four and you're going to have more. But once you... <laughs> <laughs> Ask a busy person. Yeah, that's not going to make any difference. There's another couple of fish fingers, some more bolognese in the oven. Um, <laughs> So these charming students would come and stay and they'd bring me sometimes slightly dubious presents. But one of them bought this, I mean, it looked like a sanitary towel. It didn't have any English in it. It was Japanese and it was sort of pale colored. It literally looked like a sort of panty liner. I had no idea what it was. And I said, okay, well you crack on. Thank you very much. Have the bolognese with the girls. And I put it on my face and it heated up. And I thought, I mean, I was on the sofa. I thought, I can't believe this. So my husband came back and I said, why don't I make, a sort of stylish one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, you know, I'm quite, yeah. I'm all yeah. of that. Loads of ideas, like light bulb moments. Yeah, and so then I, I mean, I had no idea. Before then, I'd only ever sold a, you know, batch of chocolate brownies. So I then started spending hours on the internet, and I found three manufacturers. One, I could, they would still look like a panty line, and one, they wouldn't smell of anything. And then I found my one that would, he could do it all. And he said, "Oh, you need to order fifty thousand. I thought. I don't even know what fucking 50,000 looks like. I mean, is that, <laughs> would that fit in here? Is it this many? You know, do you know what I mean? Would it fit in the back of the car? Do I need a key in there? So I said, oh, no, I said, that sounds a bit radical. So I said, I should forget it. Who am I kidding? And then I just couldn't get out of my head. So about three months later, I said, you know, you sure it has to be 50,000? And he said, well, why don't you buy 10,000, put a deposit on the 40,000? Got the calculator out and thought, well, so if it went horribly wrong, it wouldn't have been such a disaster. And at the time, I was going for regular massages, because I think that's one of the questions, isn't it? That how do I relax? I go for regular massages. Yeah. Secret out now. Um, <laughs> yeah. and locally, just oh, this, this massage <laughs> parlour, which was slightly second rate. She won't be watching this. Um, <laughs> and I, we were chatting business, and she said, yeah, this cost me £50,000 to set up. And I remember looking at it thinking, fuck, <laughs> I can do this. If she spent £50,000. Yeah. Second rate massage parlor, I can do this. So then they arrived, and thanks to Victoria Health, who someone had sent her a box, Jill Sinclair, who's the most amazing woman, she phoned me. I was terribly nervous, and she said, I've never, never experienced anything like this. I'll have them all. I said, We well, can't have them all. I said, She said, Why not? I said, Well, I've just spent three grand on a website. <laughs> yeah, exactly. and I, got and I got a courier, and she said, Work out how many I can have, and, and, and I've got no sense directions. Wow. Drove. Can you imagine the sweaty palms yeah. drove yeah. to Boreham Wood, which I now know is sort of in the direction of Watford, yeah. um, and delivered space masks. It's just never stopped since then. And that was in 2017. So there we are. I mean, I have to say they are amazing. Well, you know that. But I mean... The thing is they're good because they're, they're not too expensive. They're inexpensive. They're quirky. They suit everyone. They're great for headaches. We all do too much. You can just... You're not fiddling on your phone. You're not checking if the laundry needs hanging up. You just have 20 minutes. Brilliant. I love them. Yeah. I love them. I mean, I have to rash them in our house because I'm like, whoa, steady on, guys. <laughs> Can we off. just not? <laughs> You're in Devon, aren't you? Yes. Lovely. Southwest Devon, yeah. Although it's very grim here. Well, it's been grim here actually since probably about 
August last year. I don't think it stopped raining, but it is it is lovely. It is lovely. Um, but I, what I love about them, in fact, is that they are they're just so easy. They're simple. They're, it's just fifteen minutes. You know, you don't have to spend you know three hours kind of you know getting yourself organised. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they're a great. I mean, I'm a real big fan of Happy Post yeah. and sending things things through the post to friends and family just because not because you need a reason but just because i was thinking of you or you're having a rough time or whatever yeah. and the post is so bloody boring just flyers and shit and bills and you get a space mask no brainer so that's why i then launched the, the greeting cards and so they have a range of 27 cards it's just you just tick the message you want brilliant Yes, the messages I write every day are so sweet. I mean, sometimes I'm sitting over there, blah, blah, that's the that's the card writing session. Um, so you section. hand write I hand write, write them all with my little scratchy blue pen, yeah. Wow. And it's so sweet, I'm sometimes over there blubbing, they're so nice, yeah. the message. That's why you put me your gin upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> But they are just, I mean, I can't stop talking about them, actually. So I'm so thrilled to be chatting with you today because they are just brilliant. Although I did have to have a little <laughs> word myself. Um, I was going to say, my son um, was, he had really nasty flu fairly recently. And we were kind of, I was up, up and down, up and down. And I thought, I really, really need to get some sleep. So I thought, right, out came one of these. Yeah. I just, you know, got that warm, beautiful good, sensation. I have, my sinuses are a bit screwed and I get headaches and they're so good for that. But like I said, he um, he then got up again, and I'm like, no, no, <laughs> no not now. I can't wait. Oh. But um, sorry, how old? Is he? he is 18. Oh, okay. Yeah, but he was yeah, he was proper proper. You know when they say you, you don't want to bend down to pick up a five pound note or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's where he was. Not, 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 not. But there are. More space masks. There's one. There's a white one that is camembert fragrance, and it raises money for Little Lifts. Do you know the charity Little Lifts? Very small charity in Norfolk. No. Yeah. Tell me about that. And I should probably have some here. That would have been professional. So Little Lifts is a charity. So when you, if they've got ten hospital partnerships, and so yeah. when if you if you're going to the, any of those ten hospitals, when you go in for your treatment plan, radiotherapy or chemotherapy, it started off as just chemotherapy, you get a free box from Little Lifts but in it contains the most thoughtful little things that you're going to need for the symptoms that you're about to experience, including space. I need to know more about this. Yeah, this is patron. very proud patron of it. And well, so if you buy a white pack, a pound goes to the little lift, and then there's a red pack for the Royal Marsden, Royal Marsden. Um, yeah. which has raised 28,000 pounds. My God, you're amazing. Um, because that's when my mother died at the age of 40 of breast cancer yeah. so that was why i did the royal mars and they're rose centered yeah so, oh my god that's amazing and i don't know if you know but my former career was cancer nursing oh, oh, no. yeah, yeah 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 so i was chemo head of chemo oh, in um just maybe not on here the um assisted dying that's my new hot topic yeah be... yeah that's... that might take the edge off the uh... yeah <laughs> part two but yeah it's it's so so crucial that these little packs are created because well quite you know you just don't know what you're walking into don't do you on that, no. on that first day of walking into treatment and, and you don't know where you're going or what you're doing even what day it is so having that little pack especially with you know a space mask in there as well just makes you feel a little bit cared for a little bit more nurtured. yeah because i think i mean when my mother was going through it i mean she didn't you know there was no social media she didn't talk about it she no. had friends that had cancer she must have yeah. just you know had some hurty gums and wondered if that was normal or she had cancer going on to her gums. You know, you just never, I didn't know who she talked to. Yeah. Me, but yeah. yeah. So now, now yeah, Little Lifts is brilliant community and they do so many fun things around the area. And they're so nice. You're only just in a room full of really nice people. Yeah. You can just vibe of the room. Sometimes I go to things and I think, oh, I want to get out of here. You yeah, get, looking, get to, looking at the clock. <laughs> you get to Norfolk, you get to Norwich to see the Little Lifts team and you just don't want to leave. Yeah, they're a good team. I was going to ask you where about that's Norfolk, it's in Norwich, isn't yeah, it? Norwich, yeah, That's where I'm driving to tomorrow. Oh, really? Ah. Yeah, yeah. nice to I've never been. I didn't know it was in Norfolk. I am hopeless, hopeless. Well, I'll see if I can pop by. I'll yeah. See if I can pop by. Oh, my gosh, that is amazing. You do so many incredible things, Harry, and I love the fact of, I well, I love your stories, actually, on Instagram. As you know, we chat fairly regularly. Um, but Instagram does get a bit of a bad rap. So how... How do you kind of 
get through the kind of or, or stay stay with the positive and stay away from the negative but also no. i want to know about your wow breakthrough have you had any kind of like wow breakthrough moments where you're just like oh my god that just happened uh firstly i don't touch wood i've never had any problems on instagram and i don't know why that is because i'm sure i piss some people off and poor some <laughs> must go on and think Oh, look at her and I jumped up this and her silly old thing and the dogs and the tadpoles. She's so unprofessional. I didn't, but, but I don't, so far, I haven't had any nasty people. So I think Instagram's a very nice help. Oh, right to that. Yeah. Yes. Um, light bulb moment. No, not really, other than my space. Moment. I mean, I suppose during lockdown, I, another slightly weird thing that I did was every day, I've got a grid somewhere. I, I had these, I, I made a little chart and every day there was a different job. So every day I'd go onto Instagram and I'd say, right, today, I mean, it would be the most random thing. It'd be like, right, go and get a plastic bag and a J-cloth and go and clean the sort out your car. Pick up all the shit. Um, I remember those. Yeah. And today's task. Go, go and pair out the socks. If there's, if there's some socks you just never want or some knickers you never want to wear, just get shot of them. Silly, ridiculous thing. Sharpen all your pencils. You know, all that sort of thing. Anyway, it was so successful. So then they say, oh, you've got to do one next month. And it was quite a kind of thing because I'm a bit forgetful. So I think, oh, fuck, I haven't done the task. Yeah. Anyway, I then, then, while I was filling out, you know, I was organised and doing it all ahead. I think, right, okay, I need some more now. I thought, I love, talk not love talking about death, but I don't think death is talked about enough. Yeah, and having lost both my parents. So my when my father died, my mother was 36. She didn't know arse from her elbow about, they'd never, he just died unexpectedly in his sleep. She didn't oh know what her favourite flowers were or whether he wanted oh. to be cremated or buried or where, or she didn't know anything. You'd think we might've learned our lesson. Cause then when she died 11 years later, my brother and I had no idea either. Yeah. So anyway, so part of this thing, I said, right, today, everyone's just gonna write down five of their favourite hymns. Now, I'm not religious, so I didn't, and I said, if you're not religious, don't worry about it. But you know, five hymns. <laughs> yeah, read, move on. Some readings, but it could be Winnie the Pooh or the Anne the Pussycat, you know. Yeah. Um, and then your favourite flowers, right down the thing. Anyway, it all kicked off with everyone saying, oh God, thank God you talked about this. You know, we've just had gone through this and that went wrong and this and we didn't know that. And then she wanted to, family start arguing. Mm. So then I, so then I made the death book. There you are. It's so good. I mean, I, I find it so good. Face masks are definitely easier to sell. <laughs> You know, sending well, you know, posts is a little bit weird. I mean, it is, what I love about it is the fact that it is, it's so simple, but that's what you, that's what you need, yeah. isn't it? At a time where, I mean, it's difficult enough thinking, right, okay, I know I need to, 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 to fill it out and, and yeah. fill it in, because we just don't know what is around the corner. Look, the um, death plan is saying, you know, well done. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but when you are in that mist of which way, like we were saying earlier, you know, which way up is up, which day it is, we, and you just need yeah, to you have do want this to be faffing around with and arguing with old Aunt Sally about what favourite flowers were. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. And you can do it. The thing is, is if you give it to someone that's very ill or very old, it's a bit tactless, let's face it. <laughs> but if you, you and I fill them in, and we can fill it in in pencil. Because you might change yeah. your mind. You might suddenly, you know, go anti-religious or super religious, or you might, I don't know, change your mind about what sort of coffin you want. So you rub it out, and then you just have it in the drawer. Now, so I didn't want to do an e, you know, I'm not very modern. You know, what's it called when it's online? E version. Oh, like an e-book. Yeah, or a PDF or something. Someone yeah. said to me, I said, well, that defeats the whole fucking object of the exercise. The point is, if I drop dead tomorrow, the groom wouldn't know my password. He yeah. wouldn't be able to log in. He wouldn't be able to tell you all that I'm gone. So to be honest, I do struggle with my password. Anyway, my but yeah, it's, good. <laughs> but it's yeah. so good to write it down. So someone, so um, someone, uh, so that mum with cancer says she's loved filling out her death book. It's loads of comments. Oh, no. was there? Belinda, we're at the point. Uh, my friend Belinda, we're at a point where if we're having to face a family member approaching end of life. I would absolutely use the death book to support family discussions. Belinda, it is the best book. It is so simple, but it's so easy to complete and would make such the difference. I mean, if you've even got a, a section on the soppy stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. And also, it's not, you know, I've, I, 
I know people to sort of get, say, give it to their mother and that, you know, the other parents and they sort of go, oh, darling, well, well, I don't want to do that. But have a glass of wine. Yeah. And just have a nat and you fill it in together and say, oh, no, that's a shit here. What are you talking about? And apparently people, so people send me messages saying it was actually turned out to be quite fun. Yeah. It's, quite, it's just an, and also it's just an interesting conversation. And it, and it, it allows the conversation to actually happen rather than, you know, I know we need to have this conversation. Yeah. I know we need to bring it up. I'm a bit scared to bring it up. I don't really want to talk about it, but I know it's something I do want to talk about. Yeah. And there um, is, it, everyone goes, a parent goes to Maggie's. Yeah. And the other thing about people that are ill, it makes them feel more relaxed, apparently. Yeah. That they think at least that's one less thing I've got to worry about. That yeah. Going to know where, who I want the cat to go to, where the keys are, how many yeah. bank accounts I've got. Yeah. You know, that's it. So then you just, you don't have to be thinking about that and thinking who should I tell and uh... exactly and I don't want to bring it up in conversation because it's a bit yeah. awkward or it's a bit difficult but you know I'm you know I, I want I want to have that conversation so it's it's just great and it's not huge so you can just pop it in the filing cabinet pop it in the drawer and you just it's there yeah exactly I mean someone said can a family share them but I thought it was weird it was a hey, I couldn't be asked to then start tweaking it but it'd be a bit weird to have two people's thing do you know what I mean? So you need yeah, one yeah, person. Yeah. One, one, yeah. One if you want to do the tribute, one thing that I tell you some gossip. When Go I on. when I was sorting it out and printing it and designing it, I was asking people, you know, is there anything I've missed? Yeah. Someone said, write down, have a section for who you don't want to come to your funeral. Do you know that? That's a really good point. I didn't, didn't do it because I thought, oh, that's a bit controversial. <laughs> and I might, the next edition. But then my husband, who's far more diplomatic than me, said, could you just say who to not tell of the news? So I suppose if you have a dreadful old ex-husband, you just think, don't tell him that I've popped this clock. Yeah. Pop. That's true, because that's another thing, isn't it? Is, is we all, well, we don't all know what we want, but we know how we would perhaps imagine the, the, the day to be. But there will definitely be people. Yeah. I remember my friend Nancy, about my friend Nancy, she was definitely like, that person's not coming. <laughs> <laughs> Quite bad for the, sure. for the bouncer, because obviously the, you don't have a bouncer at the funeral, just going, sorry, love, you can't come in. Exactly, but, um, exactly. But yeah, slightly awkward. But Turns the left. And you don't, you don't want that, especially you, there are so many families and friends and people involved that you, know, you don't want any awkwardness or any upset or, you know, you just want it to go well. So I, I would add that. Maybe maybe um, the not so soppy stuff yeah. at the end. <laughs> and also, my chief of staff told me um, had a good idea was adding favorite charity shop. So when you go through yeah. and get rid of clothes and things, um, you know where which charity shop they prefer. Yeah, there'd be a couple. I, I might do a second edition when I'm not quite so tired. Um, yeah, busy, but it is. I mean, so many comments are coming through saying how helpful it's been and what a fantastic, what a fantastic. Um, you know, document to have, and what a lovely thing. Of to course, do. yeah, and also the salt. I think they have keep. I think like kitchen shops are selling them. Books. I mean, obviously, bookshops are selling them. So yeah. I wholesale, but they're in they're in some quite you know nice, lovely little gift shop. You see all the sort of candles and space masks, and it's all oh, the death book. And that's the other thing. People say that if it's by the till, do you still call it the till? Someone said that was a very old fashioned term. It is the till when you go to pay. It's called it the till. Yeah, it's the till. Yeah. Someone was like, what the what? Anyway, when you go to wait, you, you, you have that there. And then while you're, while they're packaging up and you're getting your card out, you have a little chat about it. It's so, so good. So good. Hey, I mean, it's, it's so helpful. good. I would say that we all need one. Yeah. Stockings. Yeah. God, you and I have both mentioned Christmas now. It's like, I oh, live for Christmas. I love Christmas. <laughs> Is that your favourite month? Your favourite shopping January sales. Then I store it up there. There we go. Fifty, <laughs> fifty. So you are, as we've already discovered, not only just mega, mega busy, super successful businesswoman, award-winning entrepreneur, four girls, all-round woman on mission. So what do you do? How do you manage your work-life balance? And what do you do to relax, apart from sticking on millions of face masks? I... I'm a big, well, we've got the house in Whitstable. And when I go there, I'm quite hyperactive when I'm here. Because you know what it's like when you're at home, you've got to, even if you were having a slightly quiet day, you'd then start tidying the larder or, you know, doing the walk. Yeah. 
going through the post or the bills or whatever. Yeah. Always been in Whistable, because there's a holiday home. There's nothing to do there. There's no laundry, there's no post, no one knows the address, no one flies by, a doorbell never rings, dogs don't bark. Yeah. There's no, you know, if, we've t if we used to have dirty laundry, they would take bring back to London. So I just sit there and I turn into this slob. Total yeah. slob. And it's so good, though. And I don't care about the weather. I never discuss the weather. I couldn't give a monkey's whether it was snowing or raining. Yeah. I'll go back. I don't even bother changing my outfit. My husband says, but you're going to get wet. I go, then I'll come home and get dry. Change yeah. Yeah. Um, so when I go to Whitstable, I really, really relax. So much so that I do become slightly lackadaisical. Um, also, I love facials and massages. Mm -hmm. And I'm very keen on skincare. So my idea of heaven is opening a new pot of cream. And going upstairs, scraping the weird tuck back, putting on exfoliating and then a mask. Mm. I've, I've got into the audibles, which is a new thing. Yes. That is, so that, honestly, I mean, I'm always very late to the party, but that is, it's really like, enhanced my life. It takes, it takes me a while. Because I, I remember getting one and then thinking, then forgetting about it. Yeah. Well, then I, oh, she sounds a bit annoying. No, I don't want that one. And then it has to be, I was talking to someone about this the other day, it has to be the right voice. Yeah. If, you, if you tune in and the voice isn't right. Yeah. And the right speed, time. I do it on quite fast. Yeah. And then sometimes it, it glitches and it goes back to sort of one speed and it's like, oh, no, no. And I think, oh, dear, what's going on here? Just jabbing at the screens. But that's quite good. So then I just sit in bed with my, my mask on, you know, face mask, yeah. listening to an audible. Like a pig in shit. Brilliant. Although I, I, I've just I, I've just got back from Edinburgh last night. Yes. What happens is I go to bed before my husband, uh -huh. and so then I'm sitting there listening to my audible, and then I hear him coming upstairs. And I do really love my husband. Genuinely, he's really nice. I love how you call him the groom, by the way. I just, and then I, but I hear him coming, and there's a little part of me that thinks, oh, oh, I'm going to so turn that. my audible off, yeah. or then I put the headphones on, but then I want to go to sleep and set the timer because I realised, you, you know, you can do a timer, so you can just do like 10 minutes. No. But then you can't do that. I didn't know you yeah. could do that. So then if he's not there or I'm whispered by myself, I just put it there, and then it just, it just peters out after 10 minutes. Anyway, so if he's there, which is obviously most of the time, <laughs> I can't put the headphones on because then I can't go to sleep. Yeah. Anyway, my friends in Edinburgh just told me you can get an eye mask. So you could put it over a space mask. The person that told me, Claire, so she puts it over her space mask, another yeah. mask. I don't remember what, what strap's like at the back, yeah. but I will think because it's in my yeah, basket. It's, it's got headphones in it. it. It's got headphones in it. Oh my God. Apparently it's not new. Apparently it's, this has been going on for some time. No one told me. <laughs> Have to be not know this. Yeah. <gasps> So that's what I would do to relax as well. I'd just have that. And then if my if the lovely groom came upstairs, I wouldn't have to go, oh. yeah. I'd just crack on and be oblivious. <laughs> exactly, because I can't see you. I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, my God, that's brilliant. Talking about audible and timings, I was listening to a book the other day. And I was quite enjoying it. It's a bit of a, you know, a drama. I was quite enjoying it. But then I turned it on and I was just like, God, this is just, it's getting a bit dull. It's just a bit whiny. And I realised I'd pressed, the not, I think it's 0 0.5 or 0 0.7 oh, yeah. timing. I was so pleased I realised what it was because I was just like, I'm going to have to turn this off. I'm not going to be able to finish this because it is just a bit whiny now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, timing makes a big difference, isn't yeah. it, about the speed. and uh, I listened at 1.5. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. it's an Australian I might do 1.7. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what are you listening to at the moment? Are you listening to, have you got one on the go at the moment? Well, I finished one last night i finished the flat share which i think is a film isn't it oh yeah i mean it was a bit you know it's quite a sweet little easy thing normally i do psychological thrillers yes but i've begun Love a psychological i'm a very decisive person mm -hmm. so people would say oh look at you should read this listen to this audible and then i just read the thing and i think yeah that sounds good i'll do the sample then i add it you know there's a wish list yeah. and then I, but that's, that's brilliant ridiculous so then, then i'd come along to look for the new one and then I'd be influenced by the stupid reviewers saying the book got lost yeah. in the post. Then I think, oh, I don't know about that one, all about that one. And I'd waste about two hours picking a book. So then I thought, right, that's it. This is nonsense. I'm going to just do it. I'm going to go to the bottom of the wish list and I'm just going to play it. If I don't like it, I'm either going to play it or delete it. Or delete so, it. So in a slightly weird order. 
So I'll be have some sort of sicko book about people who doesn't sort of kill spree, and then I'd be a sort of little romantic comedy. So I had the uh, flat share, which is like a little romantic yeah. thing, a little love story. Yeah. And now, now I just I haven't even started it. Serial serial killer's wife. Sounds definitely it's a romantic comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to keep your headphones slightly so you can hear what's going on outside. Yeah, hopefully the groom won't be able to listen to it either. <laughs> <laughs> I just finished the teacher which was an yeah. interesting one yeah uh, about uh, uh, a bit psychological yeah let me write it down teacher recommended to me from um an american follower actually yeah about a it's a bit weird yeah but quite good i was listening to us decorating it's always helpful but that's yeah my problem yeah. I don't know how, i'm not going to ask how old you are i'm 48 but my memory is shit so i'll then see a book and it'll, I'll think, well, that sounds good. And it'll say, so you've, you've already purchased this. And I think, well, no recollection whatsoever. Yeah, I'm with you. Is that 52. You? Sorry? And, and I've never, ever, ever watched telly either. And I'm trying because obviously I'm missing out because everyone obviously bangs on about telly. A, I can't even work the, te the groom's television. I mean, it's got, there are like 17 remote controls. I'm just no idea. So then I do it on the I iPad. But I mean, yeah. I don't have all these subscriptions. What's happened to just ordinary television? I know, four, four channels. Do you remember, I'm a bit older than you, but do you remember when Channel 4 came out? It was just like, oh my God, we're going to have four? Yeah. You remember? Then 5 came out and that was a bit shit. That was always a bit shit, wasn't it? What was? Channel 5. Channel 5, yeah. Haven't really, haven't really. I mean, gone. bring back DVDs. It's so complicated. And then, and then someone will tell me something. And because my memory's so bad, I have so many notes on my phone. Oh said, my god, great right So then I come back all excited, thinking I'm gonna watch television. And then I get on, it says, Do you log into your thing? And I think, Yeah. And I never get Or you think or someone recommends you a really, really good drama to watch, and you're like, brilliant, right now. I've sat down, I've got you know, the husband to sit down with me, like, here we go. Which channel was it on? And you spend half an hour trying to find out where you're... the wit <laughs> There's something filmed in Whitstable, a sort of detective thing. Okay. I'm desperate to see it, but it's on Acorn Television. What the fuck is Acorn Television? Acorn? Yeah. No. So, no, 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 no. What's Acorn? You don't mean Apple. So, no. <laughs> it's definitely Acorn. I don't have Sky. I, don't, I do have Netflix and I do have Disney. Oh. Disney Plus. Okay. Yeah. So have you watched um, One Day? Yeah. Yes, I watched that. That was good. That was very good. Yeah, I like that. Finished that this week. I've just started Only Murders in the House. Oh. up the download, because that's the other thing. You can't download it unless... Oh, I do. Yeah, I, it'll, the way to end, I thought, <laughs> right, that... Oh, but actually, I just... Look, and I watched two episodes of it, and then I was jabbing at the third one, and it was going, error, error, error. And I thought, oh. Nothing. How old people? How properly old people cope? Well, I just don't know. I, well, they get, get people like you and me to go and try and God help them. It out, but then <laughs> I'd give it to my son. Now. I was like, okay, we want to watch this. Apparently, it's on this channel. Could you just possibly just? Yeah. Go ahead well, the other thing is, I, I listening to music. I listen to Prince. I'm a completely. I have just down a site. I have a Prince shrine down there. Prince was. Just Prince. the best. It's just wonderful. Yeah. Elvis, Tina Turner, yeah. Michael Jackson, Squeeze. That's, okay. it. that's it. So that's my playlist. I like yeah. music. Well, sometimes I play a musical, uh, musical soundtrack. Okay. A musical. Um, Have you got a favourite? There's just too many. I just love them. <laughs> yeah. um, but I've seen 42nd Street nine times. So that's why I like that. But I'll be listening to Michael Jackson. So I'll be all in the Michael Jackson movie. And then suddenly something else will come on i think no 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 no. i don't want annie lennox i love annie lennox but i'm not in the mood for annie lennox yeah. now yeah, you've got to be in the right frame of mind to be in the and, right so mood. The, and then and then i said to the guru what's going on and he said oh it learns what you like yeah and, and does it for you i said well i didn't want it to fucking do it for me i want to listen to michael jackson <laughs> I want to be in charge. so then number four my fourth daughter who's only about 13 had to she had to change the settings. Anyway, so now it does what it's told. So anyway, if, if anyone else is having that problem, get the, a young person to sort it out. It's not the end of the world. You can get it sorted out. 
Oh, it's so frustrating, isn't it? When they seem to just, they just get it and then they can remember it and then they're just like, here you go, and they laugh at you. Yeah. But um, I do quite happily remind them that, you know, this is the person that you're laughing at who taught you exactly. how to. Exactly. And go to the loo and, you know, what, you know. I said, so don't laugh at me. So I taught you the basics. Do all my children like animals, but number two particularly loves animals. So I just sent her memes all day. Yeah. And she either just ignores them, leaves them unread, or says, yeah, I really like this when it first came out three years ago. <laughs> yeah. It's some TikTok thing that's finally come to Instagram. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> See, she didn't share it with everyone. <laughs> oh, my God, this is hilarious. This is so... <laughs> Thank goodness it's not just me, I've got to say. I'm hoping... Uh, we've got lots of hearts and things coming up the side there because um, I think we've hit on a topic that so many people can relate to. Thank goodness. So going back to lockdown, you've lots of baking and stuff in lockdown. So have you baked anything recently and what was it? Number three's birthday was on February the 4th and I made her a coffee cake, coffee sponge cake. Nice. I used to do a lot of cooking, but I, yeah. I did so much that it's like took the edge off. And then Space Mask came along and then lockdown came along Yeah, and I never, turn the oven on again so isn't it so boring after a while so monotonous Cooking. what the supper um, i mean yeah i mean it's just it's just depressing so yeah i, I only really bake sponge cakes cookies occasionally brownies um brownies. but now, now i buy them in from gower cottage because they're the best oh, okay. uh okay. yeah uh and then cooking i would tend to the groom's a big fan of a barbecue i like a roast shoulder my favorite is shoulder of lamb Although I'm, complete, I'm a complete hypocrite because I support animal sanctuaries and I, I donate money to all the sick animals and then I come home and I eat them all. I know. And I have to just, I just have to not think about it because I'm a complete hypocrite. I mean, literally, I, w I would save a little dying lamb and come home and put the oven on and stick a shoulder in there. Oh, no. anyway, I'm a bad, bad person, but yeah, shoulder of lamb. Mint sauce, lashings of mint sauce. Anyone that doesn't have mint sauce, I'm very suspicious of. Do you like mint sauce? Yeah, I love mint sauce. That, like, we can actually, there's a field literally just there that is full of sheep. So, um, yeah. But I remember my little girl, actually, my daughter, when she came home from nursery, I mean, God, we're talking a long time ago now, and her obsession was, was lambs. And she was like, please, can we have a little lamb? Please, can we have a lamb? And I was like, don't they grow? You know, you, they're not going to be like this little big for, you know, very long. And then we were very concerned that she was going to turn around and go, hold on a minute, this is lamb, and yet there's lamb there. But thankfully, we didn't ever have to have that conversation. She kind of learned, but yeah. Yeah. It's really tricky. It's, it's one of our really people said they were going to be a pescatarian once. I said, but you don't even eat fish. She said, I like fish fingers. I said, so you're just going to live off fish fingers? No <laughs> other did. Yeah. Anyway, I can't remember how old she was, but she, she, she was old enough to put the fish fingers in the oven by herself. Okay. So she'd have and then... We were a bit mean. We said, let's fry up some bacon. That'll, that'll shut this little phase up. Anyway, fine. she said, no, nope, I don't want any bacon. I'm a fish fingers. And then my, my, the groom said, let's get Chinese takeaway. <laughs> they were mean. Anyway, so we called the children down. We've got a very good way. Instead of yelling, supper's ready. Yeah. A 5.99 doorbell from Amazon. And we put the receiver up on their floor. So you just press the bell. And it goes, ding dong. It's like Miss Hannigan. You hear <laughs> Oh my god, that's brilliant! Yes, yeah, genius, absolutely genius. And it's got about thirty-seven different rings. So we have cuckoo. So it's now like a verb in our house. We say, "Quick, cuckoo the children." And it means press the doorbell. You got you keep the doorbell in the cutlery drawer and just ding dong. It's genius. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, so so we we called them down for the Chinese takeaway, and the child yeah. said, "No, I'm going to have uh, fish fingers again." And I said, but yeah, you probably don't want any, you probably don't want any of this delicious peeking duck, do yeah. you? Oh, and um, wow. the groom said, don't be silly, mummy. Ducks swim in water so pescatarians can eat them. And then the child went, genius, pass the soy sauce. <laughs> Bring it on. So that lasted about two days. Yeah. And that's the end. Much oh, better. Because so that would it's be insane. a real faff. What's for supper? And then you've got to do different options. Although number one is gluten free, which is I mean, it's a bit tedious. Yeah. But she's old enough to cook for her, so, and she's at uni, so. Yeah. Well, I've created, 
to stop that whole what's for supper question, I've created a meal planner. I just saw on your thing. Did you see that? And it has saved, oh my days, it has saved so much. Well, it saved so much money, but it also has saved the whole what's for supper question. So, um, yeah, you can get that on my, and it's free, it's on the, it's on the website, it's all there. Sorry? It's a free download or something. It's a free download. Odd. Yeah, so. you yeah, modern. I love it because not only when something runs out, you know when you go to the cupboard and you're like, oh, who finished this and yeah. it's run out? Da, da, da. The, I've managed to train the family so that if something runs out, I don't know, toilet roll, soap, whatever, yeah. then as soon as they finish it, they go to the planner, they write on the shopping list what has been run out, but they can also see exactly what is for supper. And oh, that's made. I have but, a bully shopping list, you know, and you can tear it off and take it to the supermarket. So if anything run out, they have to put it there. Yes. And if they say, there's no more ketchup, I say, well, it's tough. You didn't put it on the list. Exactly. It works very efficiently. Exactly. So you've got that at the bottom. No, but that's a good one. And it's all, all in there, kind of, you know, dairy, um, bakery, you know, freezer, whatever. And at the top, you've got your seven days. And so you can print off as many. And I know it's old fashioned, you know, writing it all down, but it works yeah. for us. Um, and you can see it it's just on our notice board i haven't obviously used it yet i noticed it this morning there's this mama does i don't know if you follow her she's very nice christina she gave me an idea because you know with children they do a sticker chart yeah why can't why can't we have a sticker chart i did that as a mission actually a few months ago did you yes as you can see it's not going very well because i haven't actually used them <laughs> but no, thought. i've got no booze stickers because I've gone off the wine. I haven't, I'm not going to go off no booze. I don't, I, I'll stick to gin and champagne, but no wine. I don't know what that is. Oh, exercise class. So I do Pilates. Cycling. Don't really do that. Swimming. I swim a lot. You do swim? Yeah, I've got a lot of swimming ones. And then walking. I'm trying to get into walking. Because oh, I do. I I find it. Walking. Do you walk somewhere? Or do you just walk aimlessly? Do you go and get something? Yeah. No, so there is a 5K loop that I do in the mornings. So I get up before, when I'm not going to the pool with my swimmers, um, uh, then yeah, I do a little 5k loop in the morning. With a dog? I dog? No, I don't have a dog. <laughs> what happened there? I can There's see lots of fireworks. fireworks. I, see that. I, didn't, um, what? I didn't touch it, no. I swear. I mean, <laughs> but I liked it. I wonder what it means. We met hit some sort of target or something maybe maybe it's because i swore <laughs> i always swear <laughs> so yeah so i do a loop but a loop um other people i walk with a friend a really good friend of mine and i love it uh, we started just well did we start what if she doesn't there? want to do it um, then i so we have we don't always manage to make it happen but when we, we do fairly regularly um and we it's a pack we kind of we meet the same time we do the same loop and it's you know it's just fabulous it's just fabulous um you may have seen um people that follow I, there's a there's a tree on this walk that has now become known as the gratitude spot so we stop there and we have a little three things that we're grateful for um and sometimes we share it and sometimes we just keep it in and we Ooh. just go uh, yeah I, okay, I, used to, I had therapy years when my mother died and um I would have terrible nightmares and she just immediately after she died yeah. and like proper my flatmates would say i was howling in the night screaming and hurling things i mean I was, so young. I was obviously a little bit not all there and she used to say my psychologist used to tell me to think of five nice things yeah What's wrong? five nice things before i went to sleep because then it sort of sets your brain off yeah yeah <laughs> five nice things haven't happened she'd be like just be even if it's just your cereal was nice your toast yeah. you just right yeah Someone reached out today. Yeah, yeah. And I love, love it. I love it. And you know, sometimes we're walking and it's literally <sighs> howling wind and rain, and you're just thinking, you know, you're walking through floods, and you're just like, what on earth? But you know, it's it's a positive thing that we do um, at least three times a week, and it's you know, sometimes we're rewarded with amazing sunshine, and it's beautiful, and other days it is questionable. But and it's a really good. Was it last minute? Sorry. Do you plan it in advance? Do you say, right, this week we do Monday, Wednesday, yeah. Friday or something? Yeah. So generally we do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, you know, obviously people are, you know, we get illness or, you know, I'm off at a swim meet or what have you. So it doesn't always happen. But like tomorrow I can't 
well, actually, no, tomorrow might happen because I walk before I go to my, before I get in the car to drive to North. So, do you like swimming? Do you listen to music underwater? So I don't, this is the weird thing. I don't, I do, I can swim, but yeah. I'm not a very good swimmer. But both my kids swim. Oh, so you just take them. Okay, so you're not getting in the water. Okay. Because they're really, really good at swimming, aren't they? They are very, yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty good at swimming. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, we told them about the swim spa. Right? We told them about my swim spa. Oh, no. no, I haven't. But it's I should have. So and good. They, they love their towels that you. Oh, like, yeah, the indigo corn ones. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're very they're, good. They're super, super cool. In fact, I'm coming to London actually to the aquatic centre in three weeks. Ah. So, oh, well, let me know when you're there and I can come. Lock up your purse because it's full of criminals. Not the aquatic centre, Stratford. Yeah. <laughs> well, three weeks. I'll message you. I'll let you know. I yeah. love that. Yeah, we can That's go and have, have some bacon and tomatoes. A balance. Yeah, nice though. That would be yeah. fabulous. Love that. I'll let you know when I'm going to be there. Talking about coming to London, um, I would love to know. We would all love to know. It's one of the one of the many questions we had. Actually, was all about you and the coronation. So, how did oh, yes. that invite come about? I love. It was just brilliant turning it on, and I was like. I mean, on the television. it was insane, wasn't it? So I'm friends with a lovely woman called Laura, who is the chair chairman of the RAF Widow Association. I think she's since stepped down, but she was at the time. Lovely yeah. woman. And she just, she sent me a message. It was so funny because we just this band too. And I think I, I must have met through Space Mars. I think when you become a bloody member of the Widows Association, a club that nobody wants to be a member of, you're given a sort of welcome pack. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Anyway. And in the welcome pack, you get a space mask. Oh, gosh. So we'd met, we'd been chatting over there, we met up in London, and um, she messaged me, I can't remember what the date was with Coronation, but she said, I can't remember what it was. And she said, oh, what are you doing on the you know, 8th of May? So I just sort of, you know, just got onto my phone, and I went, and I, I love the royal family. So I went, what's the fucking Coronation? What do you think? What's doing? <laughs> You're not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. I'm glued to the telly. She went, do you want to go to the Coronation with me? <laughs> And it, and it was the groom, there was no invite for the groom. So the groom came home from work and I said, I'm afraid I've been invited to coronation, but there isn't one for you. He said, no, that's cool. Off you go, have a nice time. And then last minute, Laura said, actually, the groom can come too. And can you remember, it was pissing with rain. It was, it was cold. I mean, it was, I mean, I've never seen rain like that. And I am never smart. I don't have any smart. I've got about three smart jackets. But other than that, I'm as scruffy as you like. Anyway, so I was thinking, well, I've got to really smart myself up and I've got to wear this. <laughs> Through their old hair up, put some eyeliner on. And then everyone was just going on and on, you know, like everyone does, bang on about the fucking weather all the time. And then <laughs> I, <I'm... laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I thought I should, I should forget looking smart. I'm just going to get drenched. So I went comfortable. So I went in a, a, a oh, towel. Ooh. Actually, my post swimming outfit is like a toweling lounge suit. Imagine really not. Because no one's going to be looking at me, are they? So everyone's like, you're not going with the bloody king. Doesn't matter what you wear. But you were anyway. bright time in the middle of whenever they were talking there you were it was brilliant and i drink like a fish and i said and then i've given all the information it said no alcohol so i thought well they probably want people they want people like me bringing you know bottles of stuff and littering the place they probably want to you know us to spend the money yeah. and it was no booze at all you could only buy coffee so we sat down i'd taken a picnic i mean frazzles egg mayonnaise sandwiches you know really oh. classy classy stuff you know <laughs> even the grooms come can we not do better than this? Nice thing, yeah. And then I found the rest of the frazzles in his office. Little shit. Anyway, we sat there and they, they gave us, they handed out C3 ponchos. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. and we were on the front row. Anyway, I, because I don't watch telly, there was a television crew and a woman, very smart looking newsreader, saying, here we are, the coronation, la, 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 And I could tell I'd be, we'd be in the thing. So I said to the group, Shoulders back, shoulders back, and he went, "What? Look up!" And I said, <laughs> <laughs> "So we were all sort of, you know, looking all grown up and trying to look all sophisticated and shoulders back." And and, um, and then I, and then Robert said, "Find out, find out which which television program." And I said, "No, you do it." And he said, "No, you do it." <laughs> so she was, about, she was about to leave. So the groom said, "Which channel is it?" She's like, "BBC or I, can't, yeah. I think it was BBC." Yeah. Anyway, then I got my phone out. And everyone was going, you on the telly, you on the telly. I mean, the phone just exploded. I honestly I about the battery life. Going, blah, 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 blah. 
And my friend Darshna said that she, and she must have been a bit sort of snoozy, hadn't had a coffee yet. She came downstairs, put the telly on for all the sort of pre bramble yeah. of the thing. Yeah, yeah. Said to her husband, that's weird. Why is my Instagram on the television? And he said, what are you talking about? He said, she said, Harry, it's on the television. He went, well, because Harry, it's on the news. <laughs> there I was. It was. Amazing. It was amazing. It was so funny because I was glu absolutely glued to it. And my son walked in and I was like, oh my God, that's Harriet. And he's like, what? What's, what's that? Look, look. <laughs> I mean, I messaged you. You want to? I mean, it was, weird. but I mean, it was, we were so wet that the poncho would obviously get all crinkly on you. So if you so much as moved, the puddles would actually gather on your back. Oh, and yeah. on your neck move, and suddenly it would go down the back of it. I mean, I mean, he was, we were drenched, but it was such a good atmosphere. It was just wonderful. what a day, though. What a day! And then what happened afterwards? You just all just quite no, 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 no. We just went home. We just went home to then watch ourselves on the telly, of course. Oh, <laughs> no, that was a very good day. Oh my god! Well, they were so much fun. All this f photo tampering nonsense. I mean, who gives a shit? I love yeah. the world. Shit. And if I don't get shit, I mean, really, no one else will. I know. It's such a shame, isn't it? And there's so much controversy about it all. It's like they were just putting out a happy Mother's Day photograph. Like, does it really matter? People have got too much time on their hands. This is it. This is it. Absolutely. Oh, my God, Harry, it's been so lovely. So lovely, lovely to talk to you. I could talk to you for hours. We will. When you come to Stratford, we'll have a natter. I would love that. I'd have to, I'll message you the dates. Very, very much love uh, that'd be absolutely fantastic. But thank you so much how for joining me. I'm going to have to try and do that. Now, so how do we actually turn this off? I think I just pressed the cross. But can I just say thank you so much to everyone that's joined us. I don't know if we've had any additional comments. No. We haven't had any other questions, but we've had hundreds sent through. So thank you very, very much. Hopefully we've managed to kind of collate them all into a little nutshell. Um, but yeah, let's let's do some more of these chats. Yes. It's been so Fun. Thank you so much. Very um, much. Have the best afternoon. Good. I'm going to go and have some lunch. I haven't even had breakfast yet, and I haven't drunk the pond water because I'm, I'm climatizing some pond water. I'm so worried I was going to lean down in the middle of the live and drink it, but this is. I know it looks like pond water. But it's actually... <laughs> oh, quickly! Have they, has your delivery arrived? Or did it yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? That's all fine. I know because the dogs. Because then she's, Gretel is so deaf, but the only thing she can hear is Strudel barking. So Strudel will then go like politely, just go Oof, there's someone at the door. Which is fine, and then Gretel will go, Whoa, someone at the door, and then Bart <laughs> <Exactly. goes out. laughs> okay. brilliant, absolutely brilliant. The oh, it's been an absolute, I mean, we'll keep in touch, definitely, absolutely, definitely. Well, thank you so, so much. We'll look forward to speaking to you very soon. And three weeks to see you in person will be great, excellent. Lots of okay, love. bye. Thank you so much. Take care, bye bye.